Sounds familiar. Wolfram, I curse that name forever. What do you know about Wolfram, Senor? Wolfram, I spit on the name. So you have lived here for a long time? All my life. My father served here before me. In fact, he named me after Senor Xavier's favorite saint. Saint Ramon, patron saint of the falsely accused. That's nice. Not really. The Moors put a padlock through his mouth. Oh, I see. Well, I guess there's a lesson there for all of us. What is Wolfram? It was a mining company run by a murdering swine called Ganon. In the Civil War, they backed the fascists. In return, Ganon was given soldiers to do his dirty work. They came here, brought their bloody war to this house, and killed Senor Xavier. They shot Xavier? Senor Marquez's father? I was just a boy, but I remember like it was yesterday. Shot him and his friend, Hernandez, like animals. Why did they come here? They were searching for something, but they brought death with them. But there is one thing I have never understood. Javier tried to escape through the library. But the library windows are barred. It is a dead end. This Kenan, who was he? He was Swiss, a businessman and a murdering swine. So what did he want here? I don't know. When he wasn't torturing the locals, he disappeared to the library. Spent weeks in there making notes and studying maps. His men, they crossed the whole of Catalonia searching for something. Did they find it? Who knows? One day, Ganon just disappeared. He never came back. An accident, perhaps, in the mountains. May his soul rot in hell. The soldiers didn't stay long to search for him. They hated him, too. The name Genan was familiar. He was the person who had tried to buy La Maladexio. A coincidence? Perhaps. There is no such thing as coincidence. So, when the soldiers left, you took back the house? Yes. A few years later, I returned and cleaned the place up. It broke my heart. I locked the library. I could not bear to touch Ganon's papers. Can I have a look at the library? No. I have kept it locked to honor the memory of Senor Xavier. Please, this is important. I lost the key. You lost it? That evening when I locked it up, I drank to the memory of Senor Xavier. The cellars were well stocked, Senora. It was a long night. I hid the key, then forgot where I hid it, so it is lost. That was all that was left in the morning. I haven't touched a drop since. I needed to find out what Ganon had been working on in that library. So, you have no idea what you did with the key? All I remember is waking up in the old car. Aren't goats cute? 
I do wonder why Georges has such an aversion to these noble creatures. Hello, little one. I picked up what looked like an old diary. It was Ramon's. The library will forever be a shrine. No one will enter. I shall hide the key in a safe place, once I've eaten. I have just what I need and know what to do. Oh, beautiful lady, your eyes are so blue. I just can't stop thinking of you. Hmm, Ramon was quite the budding poet. Our lives are entwined like ivy on a tree. That is what you mean to me. Nice. <laughs> hey, I was reading that. A 5T71. Extraordinary. The dashboard seemed intact, but this old family car would never drive again. The floor of the car was littered with keys from sardine cans. An old pair of shoes. In amongst the rubbish on the car floor was an old brandy bottle. Someone had been sleeping in the car, but long, long ago. Have you no respect for great art? Pretty indigestible, huh? The wind chime looked like it was made from old cans. I wondered if it was Ramon's handiwork. Despite the scrap components, the wind chime was beautiful. It was uncanny. Despite the One old sardine can was bulging slightly. I fished around. 
there was something in it. And there it was, the key to the library. The old man was watching my every move. The bookcase held old Catalan books. I wouldn't be able to read them. There was a crate of brandy amongst the mess in the great hall. Apparently Ramon drank them all. Must have been some night. An intricate mosaic adorned the floor. I had the key to the old library. Ramon had been true to his word. This place was like a shrine. Books were still stacked neatly in the bookcase. More were scattered on the floor. A globe sat forgotten in a corner. I wondered if Marquez had played with it as a child. An empty frame rested against the wall. When they left, Gennad's soldiers probably took everything of value. The table had been cleared. The old armor was in pride of place. Genon clearly hadn't moved it. The tapestry had been flung to one side. Ramon was right. The window was barred. I wondered why Xavier Marquez had tried to escape through the library. The trunk contained someone's personal possessions. At a guess, Genans. I wondered what secrets they might hold. The hat looked battered and old. I wondered if it had belonged to the mysterious Genan. A pair of well-worn boots. A couple of old faded shirts, neatly folded. The map had interesting markings and scribbles all over it. Georges would be so jealous. <laughs> <laughs>